This bottom quadrant oh, of the oh, map, oh. that trench line, threaded through the minions, Jack Special forced to flash away. First blood secured by Hunt Summer G2. Now they turn the damage on to Yankos, and Yike is in the wings. If they stick around, do they fancy themselves a dive going forward? Mickey stepping out and looking for a target, trying to use that target for body block, but Yankos is down. Yike gets himself one. Turning oh, attention no. to Mercer and Dacta. I think this is a dead fish. No, backing up because the tower managed to tag onto Yike. I mean, the sushi is still in trouble. Oh, it will fall, it will get rolled, but Mickey will roll over with it as well. And the destiny available, there it is, being channeled, immediately arrives. That was a great bubble coming up from Jack Spectra with the help of the towers, not going to be able to find anything. Trouble while that's going on. There's another fight in the top lane. Evie manages to get the kill onto Broken Blade. All of a sudden, Yankos trying to take out Yike. He's got the hit points, and with the spinning axes, Hans Summer should be able to pick up another 2-0-2. Two, two. Make that 3-0-2 in the bottom lane. And here comes Ruby. A new challenger appears. How effective can he be? No flashes available. The dredge line was fantastic. The Chaos Storm ticking away. But then oh, the spinning God. axes. Tip of the spear with Hans Summer. Embi's now in trouble. No flash available to him. No ult either. And with two members chasing him down, Yankos will not be able to connect that cocoon. It was just dodged away from. A minute to go before the dragon is up, as Ruby has been caught up. Destiny arrives. Yike is on a rampage. Yike has a two-level advantage over Yankos. As the gold card buys some time. Here comes Jack Spectra. Yike stays alive. That Royal Maelstrom took so much work. Finally shut down some gold. Yankos is here too. Sees Mickey, sees Hans Sama. Cocoon connects, at least slows down the Draven for now. Venomous bite in. Repel up. Ebby's the target of Mickey. Hans Summer finds himself a kill with the help of Broken Blade. That little root will land once more, leaping forward onto the minions, and yet another kill to G2, as well as the dragon on the other side of the map. Repels up into the air. Claims already used from Jack Spectra. Summon a heal used to keep him alive. Teleport is being channeled as Ebby will join the fray. Nobody's died just yet. That's a great knockback and stun. All of a sudden, the damage is there, but Jack Spectra's so long, he cannot get into the fight. Ruby wasn't able to join either. Teleports on cooldown, it may have been interrupted. That's a flash away from Jack. Yike turns his attention once more, and Broken Blade brings the hammer down. Another kill here for G2. And now it's a case of how do you want to try and push this forward? I imagine you keep this for. Here we go. Well, Evie's the target for now. Destiny was used there by Caps, and now the kill secured. The 17th in 18 minutes of gameplay. Look at the amount of point for more that there are here. so many little manta rays pushing this bottom lane. Another tower has fallen. And I was anticipating G2 maybe slowing down, maybe playing the lanes a little more. They don't need to. They are so far ahead. The heretics simply cannot stand toe to toe. The inhibitor turret is now taken down. The inhibitor will follow oh, they just suit. Go to the end? Five versus They're just three. Go to the end. They're going to push for the Nexus turrets. Sub 20 minutes. Stat team, what's the quickest game we've ever had in the LEC? Another kill secured as Yankos is popped for the sixth what? time. The Nexus turrets are now being focused as well. Will we get a dancing rift, Harold? I think we might. The Nexus is being focused at 18 minutes.